Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to teach you how to show the player's count on the website using PHP. Now the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description and then click on, um, on here and then click download zip. And what you want to do is you want to upload that, that folder to your root directory for your website. Now we're in the, um, the directory for your website. Make sure that's in the root directory and you can use your existing index.php and follow along or you can create a new one from scratch. So this is what we're going to have in, in the index.php. So we'll start off with a PHP bracket. And then the first thing we're going to do is we've got to include um, source, what you just downloaded, this is what you just downloaded, and then samp query api.php. So now we've included that. Um, what we want to do is create a new variable called server. And then we need to do an if statement here. So if server is actually online, then we do uh, then we do a closing bracket here. So inside the if statement, we want to uh, do another variable called, called info, and then we check um, the like the the. Then we get info for the server. So that's going to be like that. Now what we need to do is um, if that, and now this is where we add the the um, the HTML. So doc type HTML. That's HTML5, and then we'll just go. All right, now we've got that. Now what we can do here um, in the body, we can just, this is, you, you can put it anywhere within within your, your, your website, but I'm just gonna do a, hate, um, a header too. And um, this is where we do the check. So we'll go PHP echo. And then what we need is um, info and then go like this. So echo, what we need, um, we can go host name. So that, that shows the, the website's name. And then you can go like this and go, that's how many, then you can go players, which shows how many players are online. And then you can go max players. And um, that's the, ma the max players for your slot. So let's see what this looks like when I compile it. And then we'll open it up. I'm using XAMPP, but there we go. The website's showing. Now what we need to do is... um. We, we, we need to do an else statement because right here we're doing if if this um, oh wait we've got to go look we don't put that there so if that and then we go here and we go PHP all right and then this is where we put this that closing bracket and this is where we can go else and then do another closing bracket like that and then we can pretty much copy the HTML and then put it here and instead of going like that we can go server is off offline all right so now we've got to do a closing bracket so we'll go like this put that there and then close it off there so as you can see if it goes into this if statement that means the server's online it's going to show this html else it's going to show this html so let's see if that works we'll compile that um actually i've got to change the ip so we'll go back to here so currently that's I'm showing my server with eight out of 100 players online. Now, if I change the IP to, I believe this is a, a, a closed server, it should say server offline now. Yeah, it's gonna say it. it takes a couple of seconds. So server is offline. So you need to do that. Um, so uh, it, like it doesn't really show a, a show an error if the, the server's offline sort of thing. So now we've got that. So that's basically what you do. So this part here is gonna be your your index page. It's gonna be all your um, your HTML, your, your body, the head and everything in there. And then what you do is you just create a copy that shows the player, the player count and the name. And then else, if it's not online, you just redo your whole your whole website again and just have that wherever you put that just have um you know server is offline there so that's working there um all right so now you can actually do um you can do it um, um other things currently we're just showing the host name and the play account but you can um i think uh, i think there's other ones like if i wanted to you can put um I think it's uh, game mode there's uh, there's other things what you what you've got to do is you've got to go through um go through this file and find out all, all the functions there's language and then there's um i think game mode yeah there we go now it's showing the game mode so there's actually another function called get um get detailed players where you can actually show um all the players um stats that are online like like their their player count their ping and all that sort of stuff so um yeah the, the, this can this is a very good um api like a very good library to be able to do all this stuff so um 
All right, guys, that's the end of the tutorial. If, you, if there's any other tutorials you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments and I'll get around to do them. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace!